everybody this is Prim Kumar from PK Boss and today we're gonna do some awesome stuff so let's just we are going to uh, create a brand new application to access the camera resources we'll be using MGCV OpenCV.net library let's go to the video studio and create a brand new project new project so if you haven't installed uh, MGCV or OpenCV in your computer then please check my video go to my channel over videos and you can anytime run this video so without wasting time let's create a brand new application I'll name it camera access demo C A M E R A camera okay let's, let's press ok and this will create a Windows Form application so guys now our project is almost ready so so this is a brand new uh, Windows Form application if you don't see these options go and check out this video of my channel uh, how to install MVCV or or you can go inside the description to get it so first of all we'll go and reference the MVCV DLL and to do that we'll add some reference here we'll use MV MVCV world as it's MVCV3 so press ok and we'll get this MVCV world here great so we'll now drag the image box let's make it a little bigger get okay, it looking nice save it let's open our form backend just double click it this will open the, the CS file over there uh, form1.cs let's import some using statements using let's import mgoocv here mgoocv cool and we'll create an instance of a video capture so let's create it video capture let's make it capture and we'll create a method called run cool let's create this method right here and we'll write our code here so no worries good so let's create it let's put some try catch statement so that if something goes wrong we don't lose our application say some exception ex let's initialize our video capture uh, object so this is the capture object and let's initialize it with the visual capture constructor great now what we'll do is we'll show if something goes wrong we'll show a message that something happened which is not good so message box dot so and this will show the appropriate message ex dot message good and we'll return nice time to do something awesome um, now we have the capture object we want to use capture object to get the image and process the image frames so to do that we'll use application idle event so application dot idle this is a event let's name it process frame whenever this event is called we'll, we'll update the GUI here we'll update this image box okay so anytime we get an image we're gonna put that image in the image box so let's let's call that image box image box run dot image is equals capture dot uh, query frame we'll query small frame we don't want a huge image to be shown there and it seems like everything is fine now let's try to run it run the application so we get this error now if you build the application 
we get this error so how to get rid of this error uh, it's very easy i know why it is coming because OpenCV or MQCV is actually dependent on few libraries um, which is managed and unmanaged code so we need to first install them in, into our project so to do that we'll go to the project and import some existing stuff uh, which is provided by MQCV so add some existing item So let's go to our C drive, MGU, MGU CV2, then I'll use 86 and let's see everything, all files, and copy all of them and add. You'll see that we have these files here and we'll change the property of this and let's change it. We'll select all of them and change the property copy to output directory to copy all ways. Good. Now we we'll try to run. Okay, cool. We can see the the camera resource is actually getting the uh, images from the camera and it's working great thanks for looking at it and thanks for watching my video and i'll be doing something awesome with it in the next videos over there